Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little late, but I'm going through my BoxyCharm choices today. So if you want to see what I got, what was chosen for me, what I chose, then just keep on watching. All right, guys. So this is going to be a kind of quick video. Honestly, it is 11.25 at night. I feel like I need to talk about my choices. I haven't been able to do spoilers. I figured maybe I should start stop doing the spoilers because I feel like they're not even performing as well as they have in the past like I feel like no one cares anymore so like why am I gonna waste my time that I have none of by the way to do these spoiler videos if none of you are really watching them. I'm gonna start with my BoxyCharm power picks. These are the items that BoxyCharm chose for me for my box. The first item is the Alamar Cosmetics Destino eyeshadow palette. I'm actually glad because I almost bought this palette and now I don't have to. I love Alamar. I've loved Alamar for a very long time since I first got them in my BoxyCharm box. They are an incredible indie brand and I actually have they're little like blushers here. They're liquid blushes. I purchased these from the Ipsy shop, actually. I have the shade Guava Mama and Amor de Melocoton. So if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, I'm wearing Guava Mama with a powder blush on top that kind of matches this color. Because if not, my cheeks just like soak up color. But I love Alamar. I've been using Alamar for a very long time now. So I'm excited to get this palette. I love it. It screams springtime to me. I, I've seen this going around in the boxes before, but I'm glad that I now get to try it out. And then the next product I'm excited to see is in here, but I'm not excited to receive, is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. It's because I already have this palette. I love this palette. It is one of the best blush palettes ever. It has everything. It has something for everyone, and I love that. So if you haven't tried this palette and you're getting it in your Ipsy, get excited because this palette is so good. This is basically the blush palette that you will get in your April BoxyCharm box. I've used the fuck out of this palette and you can't even tell. Each shade has been used in this palette and you can't even tell. So that's how you know you have a really good palette. I don't even remember when I bought this honestly. But when I bought it, I couldn't stop using it. So I'm glad that it's coming into these boxes and that I'm gonna get to use it because I love like these brownie colors. You never see colors like this in other blush palettes. I just, I love this palette and I'm so excited to see it come in the box so other people can try it and love it as well. Let's get into the first choice product section. I have the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener in Golden Ivory. I have the Kaoli Invite Only Amber travel spray. I have the Ofra Cosmetics South Beach Bronzer, Alo Yoga Skincare Super Fruit Body Lotion, Laura Mercier Rose Gold, Laura Mercier Rose Glow Caviar Stick Eyeshadow in Forbidden, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Satin Lipstick in Taupe Beige. I actually have tried the Anastasia lipsticks and I did not love the formula. I feel like it accentuated everything on my lips, so I did not choose that. I did not choose the body lotion because I have a lot of body lotion and I want to use it up. And then I also didn't choose the bronzer because it looks very warm and very deep. So I didn't want another bronzer that doesn't suit me. And then I have, I already have the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener and Laura Mercier is not cruelty free. And I wanted to try this Kaoli Amber Travel Spray, invite only Amber Travel Spray. I'm excited. I haven't tried Kaoli, so I'm excited to try Kaoli for the first time. I wish it was the vanilla because I'm a vanilla girl, but Amber is nice too, so I'm excited to try that. And then we have my second product choice category. We have the Lauren Skincare Vanilla Almond Body Scrub. Lots of body stuff featured to, in this month. And then I have the Misho Beauty Lip Liner Duo in Worthy and Beloved. And then I have the BYOD 5-Piece Brush Set. Then I have the Lucky Chick Multi Stick Lip and Cheek in Lucky Life. I have the Nabla Cupid's Arrow in Black. And the... Borboletta Breakdown Oil-Free Makeup Remover. 
I don't use makeup remover. I double cleanse. I'm usually using like a cleansing oil. I don't really use like things that I need like a cotton pad for or like a paper or like a cloth. Like I use my makeup eraser but I do this all in the shower for my convenience. So like I don't really use like eye makeup removers like that. So I didn't choose that. And then I was honestly debating on getting the Nabla eyeliner just because it looks so black but like it's an eyeliner and like that's not like really the best thing to get from a subscription box so i was just like mm, no i have a lot of brushes i have a lot of brushes and i have a lot of lip liner and i also have body scrubs that i need to use so i just chose the lucky chick multi stick lip and cheek in lucky life because i did try this already but a different shade this one is in the shade lucky days and these are like marbled so like very pretty like like blushes and they're very pigmented very creamy i really liked these when i used it and i like that you can use it on your lips and your cheeks i've been loving products like that and this one looks more like a cooler toned pink so i'm excited to try that out this one's more like a warm pink that one looks more like a cool toned pink but we'll see when i get them maybe they'll be like exactly the same and then we have my third product choice category. I have the Pink Lips Cosmetics Contour Stick and Latte. The Glowiest Peekaboo AHA PHA Skin Perfecting Toner. The About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint in Smell Before Rain. The Lith Lashes High Definition Gel Eyeliner in Black. Two eyeliners in the same box. Okay. The Nip Plus Fab Retinal Fix Blemish Treatment Gel. And the Evo Beauty Tear Catchers Hydro Gel Eye Therapy Eye Patches. More eye patches. We have a love-hate situation with the BoxyCharm choice. Because, like, sometimes the choice are really good. And I'm like, what do I choose? But sometimes the choice is just like, this is a no-brainer, honestly. Like, what else is there than this? Like... Honestly, I chose the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint because nothing else in this category aside from the contour stick caught my attention. And I had already bought in a cool toned contour vibe like liquid bronzer. So I was just like, I'll get the About Face because I actually do love <laughs> the About Face like fluid eye paints. I think they're a really good purchase. I have like a few. You see them all in here. <laughs> I, I like the shade Capulet and I use it with the shimmer one in Fracture. So pretty, so cute. I love like all the color selections that they have and I definitely want to get more of those because I feel like it's such an easy quick look if you're looking for a quicker eyeshadow option. That is so quick. And that is my BoxyCharm box. It is coming to me. My box is worth $135. I did not purchase any add-ons this time because nothing really caught my eye. I didn't want to try anything and I'm on a budget. So I personally liked last month's better but i still consider this to be a very good box if i did not have the lunar beauty blush palette already i would be so stoked to receive that in my box along with another eyeshadow palette you're getting two palettes which is insane because like that never happens and like if it does happen you're usually getting something that's just like like what is this like super cheap basic makeup we're getting alamar and lunar beauty two indie brands that are actually really good quality i actually just filmed with the lunar beauty moonshroom collection that is what's on my face and i'm obsessed with it i loved it i didn't think i would love it as much as i did but we're here and i'm excited to receive these items actually i'm excited to play with them and i can't wait to use the about face with the palette i want to see how that will work let me know what you got in your boxy charm what did they choose for you please let me know i will probably do a giveaway of the blush palette in my ipsy unboxing so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me and i will see you in my next video bye actually i wanted to i wanted to look for it but i, I just i can't find it <laughs> oh uh, that that was much more difficult than i had to be oh. i did it <laughs> G
Jesus Christ. You guys, I found it because I've originally tried the glowest, glowiest, 